hey what's up sis welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new i'm marissa girl we are on a schedule now i'm going to be uploading every tuesday and saturday and i'm putting it out there so that you guys can hold me accountable and if this is your first video of me since i've been back sis and you like girl where have you been i left all of the details in my last video so definitely head over there for that but in today's video we're going to be talking about my favorite thing here lately home decor i have been obsessed with my home and just putting it together and you guys there the joy okay the joy that you receive from just seeing a, a blank space come together it's just like no other I have been enjoying watching every single piece add something to my space um, and I just been loving putting my home together so I hope you guys love it just as much as I do everything will be linked down below says everything so check there I also linked some other stuff that I didn't mention in this video but definitely check down in the description box for all the pieces so yeah girl no rambling let's just get right into it The first item is actually the newest item in my home and sis when I tell you I'm in love girl I am so in love it does everything that I needed to do when I was thinking about this area I knew that I had to think outside the box because it is a smaller entryway and this is right by my door so I needed it to not only be thin but short so I did measurements and I put the measurements in on um, Amazon and this popped up I quickly purchased it and I'm so glad I did the quality is so amazing and this table was under a hundred dollars you guys so if you have a smaller entryway or just a smaller space and you want to add something um, that makes it look a little more grand but doesn't overwhelm the space this is perfect I added a coffee table book and some greenery I also added a little vase underneath I may add another one that's a little bit taller to give it some height underneath but this is just lovely you guys and I'm so obsessed with it I'm not done with this area by any means I still need to add a picture or a mirror and then some type of lighting source in that area but if I do a picture I'll do like a picture light and I'll show you guys those a little bit later and if I do a mirror I'll do like a lamp on top but I am so obsessed with this space so so good I cannot tell you guys enough how highly recommended this thing was on um Amazon I read all of the reviews and it was highly 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 recommended and I see why and I highly recommend it to you guys as well so that's the first item she is adorbs and yes highly recommend her I also want to mention that that thing was so easy to put together because listen you guys I have been putting together furniture for the past month or two and that was the easiest thing to put together so keep that in mind as well if you are someone you're like oh sis I can't put together another piece that was the easiest thing to put together as well so I wanted to throw that out there second item I have here are items since I did purchase two my entertainment systems they are so so beautiful or TV stands depending on how you go about it but I love them so much you guys I love the black accents on here because my doorknobs and my sinks and things are matte black I did want to have something matte black on the entertainment system and I wanted something a little more warm because I wanted to keep my home a little more warm so that it's cozy and it just fits so perfectly I love them so much you guys they were a pain to put together but they add something so beautiful to the space and I just oh, was just so obsessed with them I love the storage space in these units because I do have somewhere to store my books I did not want my books on display just because of all the colors and stuff it was just driving me nuts but you guys know I love to read and I wanted to have somewhere to store my books so yeah it holds my books perfectly as well Thank you. 
The next item on my list are curtains. And sis, what was I doing? What was I doing before this? Because let me tell you something, this is the first home where I've actually put up curtains. And my mom used to tell me all the time, you need curtains, put up some curtains, 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 curtains. And I was like, no, you know, I like the, you know, the minimal, like not too much going on by the windows. Girl, I didn't know what I was talking about. I did not know what I was talking about because this, just completed my home curtains are like the accessories when you're getting dressed it's like your bag and your shoes and your your jewels it's like the like the final it just completes it it really does and I am so obsessed with these like my god you're gonna hear me say obsessed quite a bit in this video by the way but I just love what it did to my space it made it a like a lot more grand it just finished it off before I had the curtains up it was cute but now that the curtains are up Baby, you can't tell me nothing. Not a thing about this home. It is just so lovely and I highly recommend curtains. I don't know what I was doing before, girl. But I, I'm, I'm, uh, wow. Just wow, that's all I can say. I am so obsessed with them. I can't believe I went this long without curtains in my own home. Growing up, my mom always had curtains in every single room and I just don't know what I was doing. Silly me. decorative books like I am a decorative table book kind of girl I have them all over my home um, and they just do something for my home I don't know what it is it just adds that luxuriousness and just adds a little bit of oomph I highly recommend a table book or two sis if you don't own one I get most of mine from either Target or Amazon Amazon has them a lot cheaper some of these books are very expensive like the Louis Vuitton one um, the Tom Ford I think was a hundred some dollars but um, besides those they do have some at a very affordable price I have this um, black the black celebration of the black a celebration of culture girl where was I going with that <laughs> but I have this coffee table book called black it's a celebration of culture I got that one from Target I believe for like 30 under 30 maybe 30 or less um, but I love that it's a celebration of culture and the Chanel book was a, a little cheaper um, but you can find so many coffee table books everywhere I have another one in my bedroom from Target um, but they have so many on Amazon so just go through and flip through I really want the AD100 one, I believe it is, but girl, it's like $90, $100 or something like that. It was on sale once. I should probably check again and see if it's back on sale, but you can catch them on sale as well. So definitely check Amazon for coffee table books. They just add something to your space. Like with the entry table, of course that was beautiful by itself, but when you add a book and then you add some greenery and then you add a little this and a little that, it just adds to it and just completes it, makes it chef's kiss. old home I had that massive square just glass black glass table and every time I would walk by I would hit my knee or scrape my leg and I was like you know what when I move I'm gonna get a round coffee table and I found these coffee tables on Amazon the price is right and I love that they're so minimal in this matte black like everything else in my place but they are just like very minimal but still add something i love the shape i love that it gives a little bit of you know something different but it's not in my way i can slide them over if i need to i can um put them back and slide them closer i can hit the table with my leg and it's not scratching me up or anything i never hit these tables by the way but they're not in the way they're very minimal um but still functional and they still add a little pizzazz to my space and i absolutely love them so much you can um break them apart and you can bring them back together obviously but it came just like that you don't have to assembly anything and i just assembly really marissa <laughs> you don't have to assemble anything they come like that and i just love them to death there was another type on that i was going back and forth about and i'll leave them down below as well they were beautiful but i don't i feel like they don't fit in my space quite 
right like something about them just fell off so i decided on these but if you're looking um for something similar to the ones that i thought about i'll have those linked down below because they were absolutely gorgeous it just i don't know something was a little bit off about it for my space but i they are gorgeous and if these are sold out definitely look into getting those so yeah those are my that's my coffee table coffee tables <laughs> This couch is from my old place and I knew it was coming with me. One, because I love, love, love the modern feel of this. Um, so I was not ready to give it up. Two, it's white and I love a good white couch. Um, three, it's comfortable for me. It's enough space. And then four, girl, I paid over $2,000 for it. So I was not ready to give it up. This will go with me when I buy a house. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna find somewhere to put it. It may be too small for like the living room area, but I can put this somewhere, maybe in an office or somewhere. I'm, I'm just I, somewhere. I'm just not giving it up just yet. I got this couch from Amazon. I was looking for a couch that fit a smaller space and when i was living in my own my old place and this fit the bill and i love this couch so much easy to clean just beautiful 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 the pillows do come with it not the brown pillows but i'll have those linked down below but the white pillows you guys ask me about all the time and it does come with the couch i just love this couch you guys so functional and easy to clean like i said um and yes love it so much it was a pain moving this couch from city to city um when we finally got it in this place there was black stuff all over it and i freaked out i'm like oh my god i'm gonna have to buy another couch um but i cleaned it in by myself and it came clean i'll have what i use down below if you are looking for um, a really good couch cleaner i also use it to like spot because i have a dog and sometimes she likes to make mommy mad and pee on my floor and i also will clean my floor with it so i'll have that link down below as well but i highly recommend this couch I wanted to hang pictures above my couch when I moved and I'm so glad I went with it and I also hung picture lights above it. Picture lights add again a little something extra to your space. If I do a picture in front of the um, in the front by the entry table I'm definitely going to add another picture light because these picture lights do everything that I need them to. When I'm chilling in the living space living space at night and I also turn these lights on instead of like any other type of lights and the ambiance and just the vibe and the mood that I set in here baby everything everything I highly recommend these picture lights I got matte black because like I told you guys all of my like accents are matte black but you they also have bronze and brown and like a, a espresso like um deep brown and I believe they have may have silver don't hold me on that but they have other uh, colorways of this it's not just matte black so I'll leave that down below as well I just wanted matte black because my accents are matte black but you can go with anything and I just love them you guys especially at nighttime you there's no point in turning them on during the day of course it still looks amazing during the daytime but I don't turn them on until nighttime when like I'm reading oh my god reading with those lights everything you can also turn them on while you're watching a movie um i just love to look at them at night it's just such a vibe this mirror i got rid of all of the mirrors in my old place and because i knew i wanted this like arch like old home kind of arch mirror and i wanted one that was massive and this one's like 77 times i don't know it's huge massive um and it was a pretty penny but i feel like it was so worth it i got the smaller one for my bedroom that was on the cheaper side so if you want to get um see the two different sizes i did include both but i recommend this huge one um especially if you're like a girl who loves to take you know mirror selfies you want to look at your whole outfit every day i just love it and it also makes the space look 
way larger than it is highly recommend this mirror it's such good quality i love that it has a stand so good it's so good i bought it twice this so that says something but yes i love these archway mirrors as, and you can hang this if you don't want to do the stand you can also hang it but i definitely wanted mine on a stand so that i can move it when i need it to jars are so cute with the labels i don't cook much girl let me be honest i do not cook much but when i do i love having these jars it makes it a, a little more pleasing to cook it makes me want to cook more i love how aesthetically pleasing they are and i love that there's a label for every single spice i have so many labels left over and so many jars that i need to use um, but these are all the spices that i already have at my home and i don't want to go out and buy spices just because the labels are there i want to wait till i actually need them but i love these spice jars so if you are looking to get a little more organized then i highly recommend these spice jars Hey Google, play Just Want to Praise You by Morant Brown Clark. Just Want to Praise You by Morant Brown Clark. Sure, playing on Apple Music. Last but not least, I have my Google Nest and my Google Cameras. You guys. This Google Nest, I talked my mom into getting the Google Nest and she absolutely loves it. I think she has three now or two maybe. She started off with one and she didn't want to buy it because she thought it was just so expensive and she bought it and then she bought another one. I'm like, girl, I thought they were expensive. I thought you didn't need them. I thought you didn't want them. But she loves, loves, love it, especially if you're cleaning your house. Um, I use it to clean and listen to my music. You can watch Netflix while you're cooking. You can watch YouTube on it while you're cooking. So when you're doing like a cooking recipe, there's just so much you can do with the, the hub, that the bigger one. And then I have the smaller one in my bedroom for like tracking my sleep and my air quality. Um, I also listen to music on that one. You can listen to rain sounds while you're going to sleep. They just come in handy. Um, and then I also have the doorbell situation. So when the doorbell rings, it'll ring my nest. Um, and then I have cameras all around my home, like six or seven cameras around my home. And I'm able to look at all of the activity on my home, outside of my home, um, all of that on my phone. And I just love Google Nest for all of those things. So if you are looking to get some cameras for your home or um, the Google Nest situation, then definitely look into that on Amazon. Sometimes they have them a little bit cheaper. Um, so I will definitely look on Amazon. I love this, you guys. I, ha I love this setup. It makes me feel a lot more safe. Um, and I just like knowing what's going on in my house. So yeah, girl, those are my 10 Amazon home finds right now that I'm just so obsessed with. I'm definitely going to do this video again because I have so many Amazon purchases, but these are just the 10 that I just feel like, wow, I cannot believe I found these on Amazon and I wanted to share them with you so you can get your hands on them. Again, everything will be linked down below, sis. And yeah, girl, let's see it. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and yeah, see you guys on Saturday. Love you. Bye. Hey, go to, what? <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> don't forget to check. Don't forget to click. Oh my God, everything will be linked down below. Check there. Is that what I want to say? That's not what I want to say. This is what I get for taking such a long break. Don't even know how to talk to the camera anymore. <sighs> Bye devil, I'm gonna finish my video so go ahead and flee for me because it's gonna get done. I just need to pray, I just need to pray. Yay, we finished, we got through it girl. That's what I'm talking about. Who a quitter? Who a quitter?